Seven things you probably didn't know, you need to know. I'm Jamie East and this, this is the Smart Seven. Good morning everybody, it's Thursday the 15th of July and it's I Love Horses Day. <laughs> and a big happy birthday to Linda Ronstadt, Forrest Whitaker, Trevor Horn and Holly Alexander. There were 42,302 new cases of COVID-19 yesterday and 49 deaths. And as the case numbers continue to climb, there was bad news for those planning a holiday. As the Balearic Islands, including Ibiza, Mallorca and Menorca, got moved from the green list back to amber from Monday. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps says it's no big surprise. I think we all know by now that travelling at the moment is not the same as it was before there was a global pandemic and it does mean that when people book you need to make sure you can get your money back, you need to make sure you can rebook your accommodation. It will mean, I'm afraid, for some people that they will have to come home and they will have to do those 10 days of quarantine or five days with tests to release. The move comes as case rates have doubled in the island since they were added to the green list and as cases climb in the UK London Mayor Sadiq Khan has called for people to continue wearing masks even after restrictions are lifted on Monday. This issue of personal responsibility is all well and good, but actually, what about the responsibility you have to others? And we know that a face mask does reduce the chances of transmission if you wear one. It's the most unselfish thing you can do. The racism row rumbled on yesterday with Keir Starmer facing down Boris in the House of Commons for Prime Minister's Question Time and he wanted to know where Boris stood exactly on the England team. Does the Prime Minister think that it was wrong to criticise the England team's decision to oppose racism by taking the knee as gesture politics. I utterly condemn and abhor the uh, racist outpourings that we saw on Sunday night. What we're doing is today taking practical steps to ensure that the football banning order regime is changed so that if you are guilty of racist abuse on line of footballs, then you will not be going to the match. Not surprisingly, Keir wasn't entirely satisfied with that answer. Either the Prime Minister is with the England players in their stand against racism, or he could defend his own record, those of his ministers and some of his MPs. But he can't have it both ways. In the United States, the Democrats have been busy working through a long legislative agenda with infrastructure, voting rights and now a bill to bring an end to the war on drugs, at least when it comes to cannabis. The Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act would help put an end to the unfair targeting and treatment of communities of color by removing cannabis from the federal list of controlled substances. It's long overdue. More and more states have been legalising it, but changes at federal level would also allow for action on criminal justice, where marijuana offences have historically affected minorities. We also very much believe in the expungement of records. People shouldn't have to live with a criminal record the rest of their lives. Let these people become productive citizens. South Africa has been rocked by violence and rioting over the last few days. Events which have been triggered by the imprisonment of former President Jacob Zuma, who's been jailed for contempt of court as he refused to participate in a corruption inquiry. Looting is widespread and over 70 people have been killed. Now troops are on the streets as Sibeniso Ngandi reports from Durban. Uh, What I can tell you right now, the looting is still continuing. Like where I'm standing right now, they've just looted a storage where a canned fish, uh, rice, uh, such products that people are having as much as they can. Uh, we cannot see any police or any metropolis or any members of the South African National Defence Force, which has been deployed by the president. Still to come on the Smart 7, good news for Britney Spears and Olympic champion Usain Bolt speaks out. You're listening to the Smart 7. If you're enjoying it, you might also like the Smart 7 Ireland edition. Just search and follow us on your favourite podcast platform. The Tokyo Olympics are now only eight days away and teams have started to arrive in Japan where Covid cases remain high and Tokyo is under a state of emergency. 
Even with all that going on, eight-time Olympic champion Usain Bolt has been keeping an eye on the England team in the racism row, and he's not impressed. For me, it's very tough to see these things as an African, as a African is a monster, a black person. Is, I can tell it's, it must be rough on them, and I, you can't blame these guys. They don't make decisions that will take the penalty. Tough kick like that to a 19-year-old, that's a lot of pressure, you understand? So it was very unfair, and I can't believe that this is where football is headed. Britney Spears was back in court on Wednesday demanding that her father, Jamie Spears, be removed from her conservatorship. She says she's extremely scared of her dad and accused him of conservatorship abuse. At the hearing, she won the right to appoint her own lawyer and she's identified Matthew Rosengart, who's formerly represented Ben Affleck and Steven Spielberg, as her choice. He spoke outside the court and called for Britney's father to voluntarily step down. Today was a big step in the interest of justice, not only in terms of Britney Spears, But in terms of this conservatorship, shining a light on what's happened here and larger issues nationally in terms of conservatorships and how they operate. Britney posted an Instagram of herself doing cartwheels and thanked all of her fans for their support. One of the forgotten events of 1969, a year in which man walked on the moon and Woodstock became a cultural moment, was the Harlem Cultural Festival, which saw B.B. King, Nina Simone and Stevie Wonder play to a crowd of more than 300,000 people. Now Questlove, best known as the drummer with the roots, has directed a new movie, Summer of Soul, which aims to give the Black Woodstock its rightful place in cultural history. Nobody ever heard of the Harlem Culture Festival. Nobody would believe it happened. Six weekends of major artists. The Panthers were the security and kids were sitting up on the trees. I was nervous. I didn't expect a crowd like that. Something very important was happening. It wasn't just about the music. This has been The Smart 7. Wherever you're listening, do us a favour and hit the follow button. We'll be back tomorrow at 7am. Have a great day. ACAST powers some of the world's best podcasts. Here's a show we recommend. Hey, I'm Bert from The Burt Show. You have people on a show that really don't like morning shows. Blair said, I think I'm falling yeah. in love with you, and I went, Why take initiative when you can take a net? I like keeping it real, and I like keeping it gross. <laughs> so we created a show that we really wanted to hear. It's real, and it's funny, and we will talk about our personal lives. We're not scared of anything. I'm on the phone with your husband, Bart, and he says, I love you. I'm not <laughs> sure that I gave him a confident enough I love you back. And I do have feelings for him. I, I think I'm falling. <laughs> <laughs> what I love most about this show is everybody's vulnerability. And though our perspectives may be different, working together is actually fun. We put the fun in dysfunction. I think it's unlike anything that you've heard before. The Burt Show. Listen to this show on ACAST or wherever you get your podcasts. ACAST, A-cast. 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 recommends. A-cast.